Hello, welcome to Ukraine Pavilion at Expo 2020. My name is Ivan Sidorenko. I'm Ukraine Pavilion Director. Please follow me. So what are we seeing here at the entrance? What is this now, machine? Uh, uh, this is uh, some robo machine in uh, um, the form of our Ukrainian emblem, but this is not traditional emblem. We include to our uh, traditional uh, emblem elements of, of Dubai. It's a well-known uh, building Burj Al Arab and Burj Khalifa. What's here outside? Uh, he, here is one of our uh, 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 exhibition stand, modern sun protective system manage. And it has like motors and moves around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what's the architecture and the idea here? The uh, idea of uh, this building is the shape of a wheat, uh, you know, shape of, of a wheat. And in the facade, we have national Ukrainian ornaments. Uh, it kind of like um, Ukraine's number one um, it, part of the economy is the agriculture, right? It's yeah, very important. Yeah, this is right. So we, we uh, Ukraine is well, well, well known like a, a biggest uh, grain exporter and uh, oil exporter. Please well, welcome inside. And, Please uh, well, welcome inside. Nice. And yeah, uh, Ukraine is well known like a, a, a country, one of the uh, biggest grain exporters and uh, oil exporters, uh, agri exporters in the world. And the, this exhibi exhibition installation called uh, We Whitfield. This is ground area of our pavilion. And um, you know, this installation. Uh, demonstrate a tra transformation of uh, our country because yes we are well known like uh, well, one of the biggest agrarian e e exporters and this is symbol of uh, um, uh, this this is wheat uh, brought from ukraine but uh, which agriculture is Ukraine exporting to the EU, for example? And I, it's big quantities. It's and a it, it's way, way, much very right? big quantities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 not only grain uh, and uh, sunflower oil. We also uh, 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 export a lot of meat products, dairy products. And, Actually, uh, Ukraine uh, pro pro is, is kind of you know? like much bigger than Germany in terms of area. It's kind of like Germany plus France. It's a very big country, no? In yeah, area. You, Ukraine is a very big country, maybe one yeah. of the biggest in Europe. Yes. And uh, here you have, um, uh, for example, the example. Um, yeah, he, he, here we have our utility vehicle called Sherp. Sherp, this is utility vehicle produced in Ukraine. This vehicle can uh, take all terrain, uh, sand, snow, ice, uh, jungle, everywhere, also water. Uh, so uh, it is used in Ukraine uh, for uh, uh, rare rescue missions and used uh, all around the world. For example, in United Nations World Food Program to deliver foods in uh, most uh, you know complicated uh, areas nice. uh, in the world. I did a separate video interview with them. And yeah, please, the, this guy, guy can uh, give yeah. you a, an interview about nice. Sharp. And what do you Let's have go. around here? Let's go and show you. Mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He, here we have our uh, our um, yeah, yeah, yeah. electric bike Delfast. Uh, this is also produced in Ukraine. It can uh, have a range up to 300 kilometers per, per one charge. <laughs> it, it looks like a fast bike. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a fa fast bike. Also, we <laughs> have a <coughs> sorry. Yeah. We it have a Guinness lot of world record. Yes, yes, like well, one of the fa fastest electric bikes, and uh, uh, also nice. we have a charging station for uh, electric bikes and vehicles. And here, this looks cool. Uh, this is also prototype of um, electric bike, Lu Ludovic bike locomotive. This prototype, uh, uh, so uh, they are planning to launch uh, manufacturing in the next year. Nice. And here we see something to do with space, right? Yes, correct. We have an uh, example of our collaboration with another country, so with joint Ukraine and UK project called Spacebit. Uh, so uh, within this project, we're going to launch this robot, uh, Sagumo, to, to the moon. 
uh, this robot, uh, this is actually a prototype of this robot, will explore moon caves and lava, lava tubes in the moon. And within this robot, uh, we will allocate a flag of Ukraine made from t titanium. So next year, we'll have our flag, Ukrainian flag in the moon. That's very soon. Yes. So uh, the, in a the year. whole the rocket and everything is all scheduled in the plans and um, when it's going to launch. I ho hope, yeah. yeah. Ne 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 next year, we will have all right. this mission completed. What's the idea here? The the main square with the big the big screen here. So uh, the, square. Uh, the main idea uh, this installation called We Whitfield, and the main idea is uh, show our visitors the process of tra transformation of our country from big one of the biggest agrarian uh, exporters to our main aim to be innovative te technological country with sustainable uh, energy decisions and uh, uh, IT pro products. Is it true that um, Ukrainian software engineers are the best in the world? Yes, They're even better yes. than uh, in Israel. Israel and uh, India and everything? Uh, I believe yes. Uh, I be believe ye yes because in Ukraine we have uh, many u universities that uh, can uh, educate uh, very good uh, IT staff and uh, also in Ukraine we uh, have a lot of, uh, a lot, uh, of uh, companies. So for example, uh, um, there's a lot of outsourcing Engaged. happening through uh, companies yes. that are doing big, big outsourcing in Ukraine, right? Yes, yes. All right. So now we are going to our me media room. Corridor. I hear some. So some he, cool music. here we uh, demonstrate some videos about Ukraine, about our history, about our be beautiful places. Let's nice. See. This is all we video about Ukraine. Nice. So um, there, for example, a whole bunch of different places to visit. Yes, yes. So actually, uh, last year, the, so this summer, we have a lot of visitors in Ukraine from uh, Gulf region, from UAE especially. Yes. And within this, this exhibition, within this uh, media zone, we also would like to demonstrate all of our visitors, our beautiful places, our beautiful cities, mountains, a lot of green, a lot of beautiful buildings, castles, churches. Uh, so uh, uh, I invite uh, all our visitors uh, to we visit our, our country. You will have a great uh, experience. There's uh, this amazing cheap flights with the Wizz Air, and there's also Fly Dubai. There's all these good airlines yeah. going from the Emirates to yeah. different places in Ukraine. I heard that uh, Lviv is, for example, a very popular place for yes, we, certain... Yes, we have a lot of uh, uh, popular places. Uh, Kiev is the capital and a very nice city. Uh, so Lviv this is a very beautiful place. Oh, Odessa, our city uh, near the sea, and many, many uh, other small cities. Some we'll have, we have ski resorts, we, we, we have uh, sea resorts, and uh, um, uh, so in Ukraine, uh, every visitor can uh, uh, find a activity as they wish. Thirty years. Of yes, yes. Now. Uh, uh, our. Uh, country celebrated 30 years of uh, independence this, this year but uh, I want to uh, underline that history of our country takes from uh, seventh century we, we have very ancient history uh, so from Ki Kiev's Karus uh, uh, to um, uh, <laughs> no, actually, this is not a va Vikings, but uh, may, may, but may, maybe some of uh, the, their uh, I, I people, a the Viking TV. people, li li live in in, in, in Rus. Maybe in the this TV is true. show, uh, the Vikings uh, TV series, they uh, go to Kiev, yes, I think. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I am. Um, uh, I am uh, not believe that uh, Va Viking series is 100 person hi historical okay. series, but yes, uh, according to our hi history documents, maybe some uh, people from uh, Scandinavia was uh, live and rule in uh, Kiev. Yeah, Ma right, maybe so the, this is so correct there information. Maybe uh, some Danish, Danish uh, people may there. Uh, maybe yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the second floor. And uh, one thing as I noticed here is the wind power. How much wind power is there in Ukraine? 
because there's so much potential uh, to do a lot. We, uh, we, have, uh, um, we have around 10% uh, of uh, alternative e e energy from all our, our energy pro production. Around right. 10 to 15 percent. This this, this could we, uh, grow. We, this we, could we grow power. much faster, right? Yes, yes. But this is growing uh, uh, where very fast, and I suppose uh, I suppose ne nearest time we will have uh, much more more uh, pop part of sustainable energy of uh, alternative e energy uh, uh, in uh, our uh, e energy pro production. So uh, this floor. Yeah, what are we looking at here? So uh, this, this floor is called uh, in uh, dialogue with culture. So we represent our culture uh, within our traditional Ukrainian arts called Vitinanki. Vitinanki is tra traditional arts well known from uh, 16th century. Uh, so originally it uh, was made from uh, textile, you know, and now <coughs> for exhibition purposes it was made from a pa paper and each Vitinanka uh, shows some uh, uh, person, famous person, some uh, um, uh, significant place or event from uh, uh, Ukraine so this might be history. An of these, you could say. Yeah, uh, I, I can. Yeah. This, this is wow, wow, wow. inventors of X ray was U U Ukrainian. This is about X-ray. So I would like to, to show you this, this picture. This is a, a symbol of our first Ukrainian constitution document, Constitution of Philip Orlik. This document early 18th century, one of the first constitution document in the world. All right. Uh, let, let's go there. And so many different here. Yes. And the artists uh, who conceptualized made these are all Ukrainian. Yes, yes, of course. This right. all, all uh, you, you Ukrainian artists. And so, yeah. he, here is our place, uh, uh, st startup and IT corner. Uh, here is represented some small U U Ukrainian companies and startups also Ukraine has a lot of potential with the startups right? yes, a lot of yes, things are happening yes. even some of them became very big like there are some big tech companies uh, out of Ukraine yes we, yeah. we have such uh, examples also I uh, would like to show you our uh, future project this is a uh, gambling city resort uh, Dunaya uh, <coughs> we are going to build uh, this uh, uh, resort uh, uh, in uh, o Odessa region. You know, o o Odessa is the city near the sea, and uh, in uh, um, uh, this, this, this resort will be allocated some uh, uh, hotels and ca casinos. It will be something like Gamlek City. It will be a little bit like. Uh the Las Vegas, uh, Las of, Vegas Ukraine. Yeah, of Ukraine, yeah. So Absolutely they can be like correct. comedians. But we with sea, you know, with La, the sea. La, Las yeah. Vegas with the sea. So and on so every side of the every casino would be beaches. Yeah, yeah. We are going to launch this project uh, next year and have uh, some uh, tourist uh, and we visitor flow uh, in uh, 2025. Uh, Odessa is a very popular place to go uh, have some yes. beach fun, right? Yes, and parties yes. and stuff like that. The more, most po po popular place. Or also, I, I would like to. Can we have you. a quick look around here? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, just to have a look. So there's few startups highlighted. Yeah, for for example, fishing now is Uber for fishing. You can book a, a boat for a fishing in uh, every place uh, in the earth. Nice, with the captain. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, of course. Yeah, nice. That's cool. So you don't have to. It's yes. not going to the some, some uh, small air filters, some air air educational of. games. This is. Uh, solar gaps uh, that. Uh, um, um, Pro produce uh, uh, electricity and uh, it looks like uh, it doubles as a 
uh, window shade yes, and it yes. might even turn with the yes. sun or yes, maybe not? Uh, window shade, yes, and uh, producing uh, electricity, correct. Oh. <coughs> it says smart solar blinds. That's a very smart way to do things because everybody has windows that sometimes yes. they want to put blinds on. What's happening with this? Uh, this is a, a, a exoskeleton hand for, for a medical purpose called Uniexo. Nice. Which is you, you used for re rehabilitation uh, uh, after some uh, operation or uh, yeah. other enjoy the wood. medical. What do you, can you enjoy uh, with the wood here? You can enjoy the map of the world and can and uh, uh, can uh, put uh, uh, some uh, uh, sticks uh, in the places that you have visited. You know, you buy this uh, map and uh, put. This, this points in the place that you have visited. You've been to all of them already? No, no, unfortunately no. Unfortunately no, no, no but uh, I, I, I'm trying to visit... Uh, and they're all, they all here, one, nearly one all of them are here, the Expo, the World Expo. 192 think, yes. pavilions as far as I remember, right? I think I mean yes. there's only like 20 left or something. Yes, yes, or less. absolutely. So yeah. uh, I have a, a good opportunity to visit all the, these countries in UAE, you know, <laughs> in Expo 2020. All right. <laughs> and uh, so this is a Libra da data shelf. This is a product uh, we, which aim is uh, to control uh, <coughs> quantity of products in the supermarket and uh, uh, some sto storages. So Let's where go. Do we go now? Yeah. Let's go to the third floor. And uh, the pavilion is cool both during the day and the night. Uh, In the no. night, there's like this thing moving outside and the show and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh the pavilion is work, work like each pavilion in the expo from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The pavilion has uh, 2,600 square meters and four floors. And uh, this was uh, multiple years of work to prepare everything and build it and everything? Yes, yes, yes. It wa wa was wa work, the, the process uh, st starting in uh, uh, 2018. And uh, yeah, it uh, was um, some process. So this is the uh, third floor of our pavilion. Uh, there we have our Ukrainian cuisine re restaurant and with you, uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, chef. Yeah. What would be the borscht? Yes, uh, you 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 can taste uh, traditional Ukrainian dishes like borscht, and uh, vareniki, vareniki, potato pancakes. This is all uh, cutlet Kiev style. Oh, this is a delicious stuff, right? Yes, Kiev classic cake. It's all uh, traditional uh, Ukrainian cuisine, so uh, I, I'm uh, inviting uh, Ukraine Pepsi. No, all we visitors of uh, Expo to uh, visit our Ukrainian pavilion restaurant. Uh, Every day until 10, yeah? The, yes, until 10. The name of our restaurant is Malvi. This is Ukra Ukrainian flower. And uh, right. uh, le it gets let's busy go there. In the evening, right? Yes. Right now it's uh, 5 p.m. It's a bit early to eat. So this is a, a presentation of our project Yes Rose. This is a su su sustainable project in Ukraine. So uh, these this guys made uh, straws for a drinking for a cocktails from re recyclable. Recycled. Yes. Yes. Uh, from these things. Bamboo. Uh, from no. no, not a bamboo. Uh, like. Uh, yeah. Cane. Ah. Cane straws. All right. And you also have DJ Presents for you. Oh, thanks. Nice. That's awesome. I love straws. Uh, you also have DJs doing some parties and some... Uh, yes. Um, uh, yes, we have this... Uh, yeah. We have this uh, place for some business events, for uh, some cu culture events. And also, there is... Is this a Ukrainian athletics club? Yes, yes. All right. And uh, our club. You have football a bunch club. of... Um, ah, football club. Yeah. 
located uh, in Dubai. So there is Dynamo Dubai. You know? There's a, f a football academy. Yes. Here in Dubai for the kids to learn. Yeah, to, yeah. To play like Absolutely correct. Right. Learn to to be like Shevchenko, Rebrov, and another yeah. famous Ukrainian footballist. There's a good, uh, hopefully a chance you can qualify for the Qatar World Cup, right? You just need to <laughs> win a few more matches, right? <laughs> yes. As far as I checked. Uh, so uh, this is our uh, audio system. The main feature, this, uh, the dynamics is made from a co coconut shelf. This made from coconut shelf. And this is a corner. Speakers also. Yes, and this is a corner where we demonstrate some uh, Ukrainian AT products, AT development companies. And they, they have uh, their own representative coming here sometimes. To speak uh, with yes, people? of course. Yeah, yeah. But Dur not all the time. During, no, not uh, all the time. But during some business events, do we we have a lot uh, a lot of big business of events, uh, business programs. So yeah, yes, of course. All representatives are here to speak with, with visitors. This is presentation. Is this, is this real e-residency? Um, in Ukraine? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is no, not for... So I, I, could, uh, I could get my e-residency if I just... Uh, uh, you, 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 you can... Uh, you, you, you can... Uh, can you cu cut it? Yeah, no uh, problem. <clears throat> uh, so this is actually the presentation of our digital state project called DIA. Yeah. We, we have this pro project, uh, this uh, really um, uh, implemented already pro project that we are proud of. Uh, even all Ukrainian citizens can have uh, um, uh, almost all uh, uh, government services, passport, COVID-19 certificate, driving li license in their smartphone. And taxes? Uh, also, yeah. Yeah, everything. Yes, Re registration of business, so uh, taxes, everything. Nice. And this it's is easy uh, to use. Everybody can use. Even uh, more elderly people, they figure uh, out how to use it. You know, you know, maybe some of pe people that uh, do not uh, use smart smartphone or this is difficult to, to use smart smartphone, maybe have some uh, problem. But uh, all. all uh, uh, more, most of UK, U, Ukrainian citizens have uh, DIA in their smartphones, and this, it, uh, this application is really, the really e easy. The e-residency does that work also for foreigners, or is it a lot to do with uh, for Ukrainian citizen? So uh, I. Uh, okay, uh, we we have this is a project only for IT and uh, okay. some uh, don't. Okay, okay don't please cut yeah, it. Okay. okay. Um, so here, already 2.5 million yes. Ukrainians use it. Yes. There's a few million more, right? Is, uh, yeah. How many? 30? Uh, in Ukraine, yeah. uh, about uh, 40 million. 40 million people. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so this is our company Liga Zakon with their products for um, for uh, external market. This is some uh, IT decisions for law lawyers. Um, um, this is uh, analytics of legislation base. Uh, base uh, so you just tell them the problem that you have and uh, yes. automatically calculate what lawsuit you, uh, you should do. Yes, yes. And how you will win the lawsuit. Yes, that would be yes. great. All right. Analysis of uh, contragents and uh, many other services. This is Ajax, our uh, manufacturer of uh, home. Um, security system, <coughs> you know, uh, sm smart home system. Right. Also, we have a pr presentation of our uh, Ukrainian Invest. Ukrainian Invest, this is authority on the Cabinet of Ministers, which engaged in attracting uh, foreign direct investment to Ukrainian economy. In this screen, you, you you can see information about our uh, uh, state support of investment activity, some gu guidance, uh, sectoral opportunities in the e investments, in all sectors of economy. Uh, there is so much potential, no? Uh, so much potential for uh, the Ukrainian economy to grow every year. It's already growing every yes, year, right? Yes. Correct. It's growing much faster than. I would guess in all other EU countries. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Because it's starting from lower, right? So there's so much potential. If you invest, 
you might of get course, double your money of back. Course, yeah, and uh, no, <laughs> I believe. But uh, you know, uh, last uh, year we have a lot of uh, legal uh, uh, implementation about uh, investment uh, uh, investment activities. For example, uh, law about PPP uh, private uh, partner public private partnership uh, you know a uh, law about e investment nanny and uh, we, we have a lot of uh, new uh, go government uh, support uh, activities for e e investment do, to do ukraine you mind if i ask this question i always wonder uh, how soon before ukraine joins the eu i don't know <laughs> hopefully soon uh maybe okay. Uh, okay, okay i hope it will be nearest time all right. I'm okay. waiting. I'm lo looking for many forward people this. in Ukraine would like yes, this, right? Many, many, that would, that people, would help grow the economy very many, fast. Many people in Ukraine lo lo looking forward, of course, to to join EU. Yeah. Me also. Hopefully, before uh, World Expo 2025. Uh, 2025. <laughs> we'll maybe, see. maybe. Okay. okay. Uh, USF. This is Ukrainian startup fund. Uh, this is institution under Minister of Finance that help uh, our um, our enterprises to attract some uh, government uh, support, uh, g government money to develop their uh, products and startups. Right. Uh, I guess there must be thousands of startups, right? Yeah. And hopefully the next Google, Facebook could be uh, there. I'm co co confident All that right. in Ukraine we, we will launch some, some something big you know and uh, something influential to uh, yeah. the wo world economy like a google okay. facebook and uh, okay. and others so our last floor <clears throat> ah we're getting nice views from here yes yes we we have uh, the UK. we have uh, a nice view views and uh, you, we can see UK Pavilion and we have uh, uh, this floor called in dialogue with art. So there we have a, a contemporary art project called Ellipsis. And now my colleague Daria will tell you a little bit more about this. All I right. will call my, my colleague Art yeah. Curator. Good day. Checking out the eyes here over the Ukraine pavilion. Right. Um, so maybe she can have yeah, the microphone. Yeah, uh, sorry, can you yeah. cut, cut it? Yeah, up yeah it's yeah. cut. So <laughs> this is the last floor of our pavilion. Yeah. We have a very beautiful view views outside. The views to UK Pavilion and this uh, floor uh, called in dialogue with art. Okay, uh, here you have the, all art, the eyes. Art exhibition and my, my colleague Daria will uh, tell you a little bit more about uh, yeah. this area. Okay. So maybe she can have the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a way you can clip it on your okay. like this? Yeah. No, no, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, okay, well, maybe in the middle, a little okay. bit, yeah. Or if you want, you know, you take a little bit, of, okay, that's good, that's good. Good? Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so, so um, maybe let's, uh, let's start right here. Okay. All right. Okay, so on this floor we would like to show that uh, Ukraine is uh, making a dialogue with the whole world uh, in the context of contemporary art. So, uh, as you saw from the previous floor, uh, we are in dialogue with the world with different topics and items like technology, culture, for example, and here we are on the territory of contemporary art. Uh, with this um, exposition, we would like to show that uh, Ukrainian art scene is very bright and powerful and uh, the exposition called Ellipsis 
Uh, the curator of the exposition is young uh, Ukrainian curator Anna Avetova and she uh, created this exposition to show not only Ukrainian uh, uh, not only Ukrainian young artists but also well known in the world uh, for example uh, Viktor Sidorenko who's uh, Which example are we looking at here yeah this is uh, from this one yeah okay this one is uh, Igor Zigura work uh, it's a sculpture uh, on this exposition there is a um, few works of these artists because there is two brother who is working a sculpture uh, sculpture uh, who is working with sculptures this work for example these fingertips also so this is like a, there this is a fingerprint login for your phone no yeah could be all right you get there uh, it says it's his brother Nikita Zigura all right. And another one, work of this artist. Let's see. This one. Apple. Yeah. It, because people are so obsessed uh, with, uh, with their iPhones, right? Is a comment <laughs> to this? Mm, probably. The whole probably. planet. By the way, this is recyclable art, recycling art. It's made from, it's, it, this is plastical work. All it's right. made from plastic. It's, uh, uh, rem uh, with remaking of plastics uh, with a special technology. Nice. Uh, uh, are they world famous, these artists? Uh, yes. Now they are, with yes. the expo. Yes. They are right. young, but very well known. Their works uh, are all around the world, uh, in the collections also, and outside expositions also. Nice. What's happening here? Yeah, this very nice work. Uh, a lot of visitors would like to c communicating with these sculptures. This is a part of the big project of Viktor Sidorenko. He's uh, very well known in the world because uh, he has a lot of international expositions around the world. And uh, this is just a part of the uh, big project uh, uh, Levitation, which called Levitation. This uh, project uh, combines uh, paintings and sculpture also like this. With this works, uh, the artist would like to show that how we communicating with the world, how we communicating with ourselves, with the society. So this is uh, the works about our internal and eternal what is in every person, inside and outside. It could also just it, it could be people attending the expo and flying over the pavilions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about my comments. What are they dancing about here? AR dancing? Yes, this is not the art exposition. This is one of uh, the Ukrainian company who is um, representing their product here. But they are very artistic, you see. They are very... Um, is it a VR dance yes, or is it a real yes, dance? Yes, we, we are. We so are. you can actually dance next to somebody famous, yes. maybe? She, this is a famous singer. There was a famous singer. Yeah. Nice. And everybody could dance around. Nice. Is that Tina? Tina, yes. All right. And here's another VR. Yes, yes. Well, you can shop with the famous singer. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Something else is happening here. <laughs> right. And another, oh, it's all three from a VR company, the same? Yes. Or, yeah. There you can jump in, into your brain, maybe. Yeah. And look. And you have a, a bar. Yeah. With, um, you're actually serving alcohol, right? Yeah. That's like, a, so must, must be popular in the evening, right? Yeah, in the evening, yes. With a DJ and yeah. music and everything? Um, we're going to have uh, yeah. a DJ and music maybe in a couple of weeks uh, uh, in our terrace. All right. What are we looking at here in the walls? Yeah, let's see. Uh, this is uh, paintings of palm, which is a symbol of friendship between UAE and Ukraine. Actually, uh, the beginning of UAE is Ukraine, right? Um. UA. Oh, you yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, yes. Right. <laughs> this is digital works. Of uh, uh, this is very famous Ukrainian artist. Uh, his murals, uh, street art, are uh, all over the world. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people could could know this name because a lot of um, street arts 
uh, all around the world in different different countries. And now he is working in digital way. And it's a censorship. Yes. Okay, joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yeah. This is another artist, but the same digital uh, art. I mean, the same way of creating art, this is digital. So basically, the artist creating in digital way, the works, and then you could print them like this, or you could make a sculpture like this. This is the same artist. You see this small sculpture? Oh, nice. Could you guess what is this? Yeah, it's a, it's a wobbly guy. This is a cloud. Ah, it's a cloud. Cloud, it's walking, yeah. walking cloud. Character from a cartoon <laughs> or mo movie. All right, so it's just like a computer code. Uh, kind of. Yes, yeah. yes, digital. And uh, by the way, uh, this is a spider because this artist trying to show a different everyday situation, but in artistic way. So if you if you look, you could see that this is spider. Y you don't have too many spiders in Ukraine, no? Not some bad no, ones. No, no, They're no. friendly. No. Yeah. Friendly spiders. Not All really. right, that's very cool. And uh, the eyes was, yeah, I filmed it just before. Yeah, it's great. It's like looking out yes, uh, yes. your eyes. All right. So and it goes all the way around there, actually. Yeah. Let's see the painting. Yeah. Let's go there. Yeah. This is two young uh, uh, Ukrainian artists. This is Rita Maikova and Anna Kostritska. You see the uh, scenario of these uh, paintings are very uh, phantasmagoric, so especially here. This is abstract art. And this is very interesting media. This is also paintings, but it looks like 3D because of the uh, way of painting, you see? Uh, it's kind of like a painting that becomes a sculpture. Yeah, probably. It's something in the middle. <laughs> and she's, uh, she calls herself Queen Elizabeth? No, no, no. No, okay, no this is the name of the work. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. No worries. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah the, I, can see the, I can see the resemblance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, whoa. What is this? Yes, small corner of art also. Who's this, this guy? Uh, this yeah. is just an imagination of uh, the artist. Right. That's what happens when you spend one week at the expo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And this is small planet. Nice. Uh, like, this could symbolize the ambitions of Ukraine to mm. put uh, astronauts on Mars. We could say so, yes. Yeah, all right. We could. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. That's a very cool uh, tour here that we had. Thank you. Thank you.